This is it. This is the moment of truth. Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a cold open for this. I mean, I guess I could. But, anyway. <clears throat> this is it. We're going to go up the victory road and then we're going to fight the Elite Four. So here we go. Uh, we got the team grinded up to level 60. This is the absolute limit. I will not do any more grinding henceforth apart from what we do in Victory Road. So this is what we're working with. We've got Dogmeat, the Ghost Rock type Arcanine, uh, level 60, has 150 attack. I just eat before I did this. Uh, with Lick, Jump Kick, Wing Attack, and Confuse Ray. Uh, has not learned a rock type move yet, but you know what? Well, they'll be solved later. Uh, we've got. <laughs> yeah, Strippo, the electric normal type Sea King, has been here for quite a while. I think Dog. Yeah, Dog Meat has been around since we went to Route 3. And then we got Sea King. Uh, we got Strippo at Route 4. It has Thunderbolt, Thunder, Double Edge, and Soft Boiled. Uh, Double Edge does, has a little more recoil than Jump Kick, but still not too terribly bad. A Soft Boiled can cover that right up. Uh, we've got next. We've got Bukaki, our starter, the Grass Flying type Muck. Uh, God, that special stat with Razor Leaf, Solar Beam, Fly, and Ice Punch. I've decided to trade out Leech Seed for Solar Beam because the. Uh, Basically, I'm just trying to be relentless towards this computer. I'm trying to be relentless. Uh, we've got Daryl the Golduck uh, with just those stats. With Body Slam, Stomp, Swift, and Horn Drill, I realized that Swords Dance really just wasn't cutting it. So I give him four attack moves, and he is a Stab Bond. So he only has normal type attacks. Anyhow, we've got Hentai Man. The Electric Fire Type Kingler. God, that special stat is ridiculous. With Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Surf, and Cut. Has not been Earthquaked yet. If this guy gets Earthquaked on our way up there, then I will be very disappointed. But Hentai Man, I want him to live. I want Hentai Man to live. And finally, to end it off, Hentai Man's best friend in the world, who I'm so glad that we caught at the end, uh, that we put under our wing at the very last minute. We've got Barf Barfajon, our rock type Mewtwo. Uh, very speedy, and it has the moves Rock Throw, Bone Club, Strength, and Super Fang. Which, we're gonna stick him and Hentai Man at the front of the team, uh, because why not? We're gonna be getting encounters, and I wanna show more of Barfajon. <laughs> so yeah, I hope, I hope that I can either get the TM for Rock Slide or Earthquake by the time we get up to the Victory Re or Indigo Plateau, rather. But, uh, if not, then whatever. So this is still Route 22, so don't get your hopes up. Anyway, we made it here. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Let's go. Oh, that is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. Okay, hold on. This is the good music. You can pass here only if you have the cascade badge. Oh, that is the cascade badge. Okay then, go right. Please go right ahead. Walking in a straight line. Walking in a straight line. Walking in a straight line. Oh, there we go. You can pass here only if you have the thunder badge. Oh, that is the thunder badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. There you go. You can pass here only if you have the rainbow badge. Oh, that is the rainbow badge. Copy pasting! Because fuck you. Okay. So anyway, this is route 23, I'm pretty sure. You only pass here if you have the soul badge. Yeah, the soul badge is the fifth badge, not the marsh badge. So, don't be an idiot. Anyway. There's a patch here. I think there's a hidden item on here, if I'm not mistaken. A super repel. <laughs> I'll take it. I, I I mean, I'll take it, because we have to go through Victory Road. 
and there's a lot of repels I'm going to be using up there. So you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. You know what I'll pass here for that? The Marsh Badge. That is the Marsh Badge. Duh. So anyway, you can get an encounter right here. Uh, why you would want to is beneath me, but whatever. You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. It is the Volcano Badge. Go right ahead. There you go. You can grab yourself an encounter if you really do feel like it. If you really do feel like it. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that is the Earth Badge. There you go. You see all those gym badges on the layout? We earn those together as one, as a unit. Anyway. Let's get it. Let's get the encounter. Route 23. If this grass feels like cooperating. Okay, so this is Route 23. It is a Guess what? I get to call dupes on that, so fuck you. Dupes! A Mr. Mine is not dupes, and it's level 43. Okay. Oh, Mewtwo's cry is so good. Alright, so we can slice this guy's health in half. Skull Bash? Solar Beam. Well, guess who's not gonna be staying in very long? <laughs> That's a disappointing sound effect. Just be -de -be -de -be -de -be. Okay, Pokeball. Fuck. Badly poisoned. Okay, there we go. We got Mr. Mime. Yay. Mr. Mime is the barrier Pokemon. If interrupted while it is miming, it will slap around the offender with its broad hands. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it slaps people. I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna slap you. Uh, we've never used a- we've never had a Mr. Mime before, so let's go grab a name, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna figure out a way to get both the random name, name generator and possibly a different thing for this on the screen. Indergit! You know what? I don't apologize. Indergit! What the hell kind of name is that? That's at least the full heal, just to clear up the poison. Apart from that, Bukaki's fine. Okay, so that's Route 23. So, can't get that route anymore. And after you uh, get through Victory Road, I'm pretty sure it goes right to Indigo Plateau, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so this is Victory Road. Anyway, Strength Puzzles. Fortunately, we got a Mewtwo that has the strength. So, there you go. Anyway, once we bump into an encounter, that's the Victory Road encounter. So unless it dupes, then fuck it. I need it. Then, then I need to catch it. Oh, there it is. Lo and behold, there it is. Vileplume! Wow! For our last regular encounter, we get yet another enemy. So we've gotten both Hentai Man and Barfajan, as well as Tri Thunder and. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Wow, even a crit, even a critical hit multi hit, hit move. Yeah, didn't do dick. Okay, catch. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Vileplume's the flower Pokemon. The larger the petals, the larger its petals, the more toxic pollen it contains. Its big head is heavy and hard to hold up. Yeah, but we know this as the monster itself, Vile Doom. So there you go. Vile Doom. It destroys everybody. So now we're going to slap on a Super Repel. Uh, fortunately, we found an extra one of those, so I don't have to worry that much. Anyway, uh, I mostly have forgotten Victory Road in this game, but I'm going to try to remember. I'll vaguely remember stuff. And I don't have a stream chat to yell stuff at me, so that helps. And there's trainers here. Alright, so should we heal? Let's 
37 health? Uh, I don't know if that was worth it. Whatever. I mean, yet again, like I've said before, Strippo is the most expendable. Like, if someone really does need to die, then... I'm the most comfortable with her buying it. Anyway, uh, I'm feeling lucky with this item. Wow! Uh, okay. That's a Firestone. Can I just evolve that Growlithe? <laughs> once I get- once I get to the gosh dang PC box. I'll just evolve that Growlithe instantly and see what it is. And see, like, if I could have gotten a Mewtwo early or some shit, if I would have picked it up. Probably after Kumar's death. Should I talk to this guy? Nah, I don't feel like it. I'm only gonna fight people that are, like, absolutely required. Because I'm mostly on par to fight the Elite Four. Not entirely on par to fight the entire Elite Four. I think I'm under leveled to Ag about Agatha or Lance, but I should be good for the most part, just because a lot of it is luck based. I mean Okay your cadet thing. Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, we can continue. Oh! Now, the thing is, it's not gonna be like that later on. Aya! It's just. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, there's a legendary in Victory Road. Uh, they changed that in. Uh, damn it. This thing has to be like level 45 or something. Yeah, level 40. I'm gonna take this gosh dang blanket off because it's burning me. Get it off of me. I'm and your bowling party is a Sunday. Okay. But your dad and I can't come. Excellent time to record a video, is it not? Yeah, yeah, that's just great. Interrupt me every 15, every, every 30 seconds. Just make sure I can't get any points across. Forget what I'm saying. I have to start all the way over from what I was saying before. It's just, ugh. There I go. A max repel. Yes. I would like those. I like those very much. I'm about to get raped by a slowpoke and then immediately have to fight a trainer afterwards. That just seems like insult to injury at that point. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Is Victory Road too tough? No, it's not. It's easy as crap. I mean, provided you grind first. Rhyhorn. Well. 
Isn't that spiffy? You're weak to rocks. Get out of here. Get out of here! There you go. God, Barfajan will not level up. Then again, that's gotta be a struggle throughout all the throughout this whole time here in this last episode is trying to get people to level up. Another horn drill. If I manage to find another PP up and max out Daryl's horn drills, I swear that this game just has it for me. I could've gotten no Lapras! I like Lapras! Fuck you. I could've had Hentai Man's parents. Alright. There you go. Literally, I'm just looking for all these... I had rumors of a child prodigy. I mean, I'm about to be a man, but... So... Fuck it. Venusaur. I mean, I mean, Venusaur! <laughs> I walked right into that one. Son of a... Okay, this is just a complaint I have with Bone Club. It always misses. This is why I want Earthquake. Well, I told you! Earthquake! Can I have Earthquake? And I know he'd learn it! What? Uh, wait a minute, you can cancel... What? You can. Oh my god. I legitimately don't understand what's going on. Come on, just die already! What? Oh, come on! This stupid thing has rock slide! But my Mewtwo doesn't. My Mewtwo doesn't have it. That is stupid. Nary and female. Well, Barfajan should be able to fight that. Let's <laughs> cr crush that thing to the ground. Yeah, this episode's going to be like an episode? Episode's going to be about an hour long, just letting you know. Whatever it takes to beat the game. Execute. Well. Oh, I'm glad I remembered his week to gosh dang bone club. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I remembered that. The rumors were true! Shut up. Another hyper potion. You know what? I'm gonna use that free hyper potion on my monk. Because he took a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage! Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm going to shut the hell up. Oh, you son of a bitch. Venomoth. I remember you tortured me in the first official episode of the series. He was the thumbnail! Venomoth was the thumbnail. I don't know if that episode had a cold open, but... No, the first cold open was to Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd and Articuno. Now, I can't... I can't... Oh no, you can find wild fucking hentai man in here. That's where they were. Victory Road. You know how I got mine? On a table. <laughs> I found it on a table in Celadon, just lying there. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. There. Alright, it's Moltres time. Protein. Okay, it's free money. I can buy more healing stuff with it. And an item up there, boy. Look at that. Master Ball. A guard spec. Okay, I can toss it. We're gonna use our second Master Ball on this thing? What is it? A Zapdos! Zapdos, level 50. Okay. So, I don't know what type it is, but... I'm going to be throwing my second and last Master Ball at it. Because I want this. And fortunately, through my good friend, who I don't know who, where he's gone. There you go. Zapdos, the electric Pokemon. Well, that that's well, that's quite obvious. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. 
it shits lightning. Uh, I'm gonna name this man Zip Zap Zoom. Zip Zap Zoom has finally returned. You probably forgot he even existed, did you? Did you even see him, did you? Okay, right, so now we're gonna go down here because fuck it. This requires strength to move. You got to beat the Herculean. <laughs> what am I talking about? <coughs> I seriously just kicked myself. No, I did not kick. Fuck! Fuck you, Cubone, you piece of shit. You will not defeat me, you piece of shit! <laughs> Fuck! God damn, Sea King? You know what? Experience me. Fuck you. Get out of my screen. Imagine that was the thing that got me to level up. Okay, it's not in that rock. You just gotta click random things that are all over the level. Just to see if they give you shit. Uh oh, I've already beaten this guy. Why am I here? Was I supposed to take one of these rocks down there? And hit another switch? Okay, I'm not gonna mess around with Nine Tails. None of that. Okay. Now I'm confusion. <laughs> now I'm conf now I'm real confused. I had to deal with this bull honky before. I've had to deal with this bull honky before. I... No, no, no. I feel like... Shit. Yeah, it's definitely up there. Okay, okay. Barf John's getting beat up. Nope. None of that. Just gonna hit it with a strength. Stop. Alright, they pour it on. Pretty sure it's Ghost. So what I'm gonna do is go to, um... Hentai Man? Because I know what I'm gonna hit it with is neutral. Oh, 44. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Barfajon and Hentai Man working back together as a team. There we go. I got whipped. Okay, good for you. <laughs> oh, wow, there's Blastoise in here. Damn. All right, so it's uh, probably revolving around this bridge. I've already been here before. I guess, no, 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 I think there's like another switch you can hit. No, not that. That's just a trap. It's past this ch Did I tell you that I forgot this goddamn Dutch? I forgot the layout of this freaking place. Oh no, you're supposed to go down here. That's what you're supposed to do. I thought this was like a stupid bullshit area, but no, it's not. Alright, I think you have to fight one of these trainers no matter what. So, meh. I'll show you just how good you are. I think what you're supposed to... If we just seen Moltres and Mew, then we would have already seen all five legends in this game. Well, technically Mew's mythical, but fuck you. Ow! My hand. Knit Arena. She's got that snout. Does Knit Arena always have a snout? Like, I don't... I just had a nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. We're just jumping the gun. What is it doing? Sky attack? We're doing sky attack out here? Bukaki actually wanted to learn sky attack, but I said no because of. What? Why? Literally, why? That's bullshit. You can't just heal and then... Come on, only the computer can do that. You're locked into doing sky attack that next turn. The computer can just bullshit you. I'm furious. Well, you shouldn't be. Hitmonlee at level 42? Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. You're supposed to hit this stone. Yeah, because that just trapped. Because that's a trap and then the other area... It's just a waste. Right. So what you're supposed to do is get this rock and then... Strength is coming handy on Barfajon though, not gonna lie. 
All right, and then that switch is over here. Yeah. You better have fuck. You better have patience. Did my repel wore it wear off or something? I feel like my repair my my repair my repel wore off. That's what I feel like it happened. Okay, so now I believe that that switch is cleared. Yes. Okay. Okay. And HP up. We can sell that. Not the PP up I wanted, but whatever. So here we are. We're at Indigo Plateau. It's the final countdown! Okay. So now that we're here, freaking heal my Pokemon, please. There you go. I know. This is it. Go for it. Alright, so now we are about to do uh, my setting up for the Elite Four. Okay, so we're gonna sell off our items. We're gonna sell we're gonna sell off the things we don't need, okay? Uh what was it? Twin Twinedle and what was it again? Twinedle and No, not the Firestone. Yeah, Twinedle and what is this? Horn drill. Okay, we don't need either of those. I think I'm just gonna evolve that Growlithe for the lols. Uh, HP up, we're gonna sell it off. We're gonna sell that off. Uh, guard spec, we're gonna sell it off. We don't need it. The protein, we're gonna sell it off. We don't need it. Uh, uh, horn drill, don't need that. Twin needle, don't need that. Well, they're both 2,000. Damn. Uh, Firestone, we're gonna keep that for now. We're gonna deposit. Should we deposit the Pokey Flute? Now, still keep the Pokey Flute on me because that can potentially save me full heals in the future. Max Repels, we're going to sell off all of our Max Repels. We do not need Max Repels anymore. Super Repels, we're not going to use Super Repels anymore. And uh, our Ultra Ball, we're going to sell it off. We never use the Ultra Ball, but we're going to sell it off until now. And we're going to sell off all of our Great Balls. So there we go. Alright, so number one, we're going to stick somebody in the PC. Oh, but they're in the other PC box. And I need to save anyway. I'm not going to lose my progress. There we go. Let's put Barfage on in there for now. And then we're going to change boxes to box one. And then we're going to withdraw Putu, if his name is. Yeah, Putu. So Putu, get out here. Because you're the only Firestone Evo we have. So we're gonna use the Firestone on you. What? Putu is evolving into what? A drowsy. <laughs> it's Bob Marley! <laughs> I wanna fly to Lavender right now and name and nickname it Bob Marley. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna get the we're gonna hit the true 30. It's gonna take us 30 minutes to beat the Elite Four, and you know what? I'll round it off to an hour. So, uh, we're gonna fly, because we can go to the Indigo Plateau whenever we want, and that's right here. No, yeah. So let's go to Lavender. And then the Name Raider's right here, right? No, that's the Volunteer House. So this has to be a Name Raider. Yeah. Hello, hello, I'm the official Name Raider. Yes, he's not gonna be on the team. That's a decent nickname, but would you like me to give it a nicer name? How about it? I call upon the spirit of Bob Marley to bring an endless supply of good luck and weed. Nothing but good vibes. This Pokemon has been renamed Bob Marley. That's a better name than before. Yes. A fighting ghost type. Okay, alright. Whatever you say. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to <laughs> it repels effect world. <laughs> I thought selling it off would cancel it. Alright. Alright. Hentai man's crying, he's alone. That's fine. We're gonna go to Indigo Plateau. Alright, so we're back to Indigo Plateau. 
And we're gonna stick the party for John. All right, we're gonna stick this boy right back in the PC. So Bob Marley is now officially our good luck charm. Okay, we're gonna change box. We've only had two deaths. Maximum this series can can have eight deaths. Nope, no, 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 it's not okay. Look at these guys. Oh, let's look, let's look at Zip Zap Zoom real quick. Dragon normal. That, <laughs> that moves. Nope, not using that. Ground type, okay. Oh, this thing has earthquake. This has earthquake. Not part of a fucking... If I would have randomized it to normal, it probably would have given me that fucking thing instead of... Okay, whatever. I don't... I, I don't... I don't care. What's this fucking... Dang, this this thing is weird. Interjit? What the fuck is an interjit? Whoa. I could have done the uh, leech seed uh, thing combo. Oh no, Gamar, you died. We have a dead mon in each box. He goes, whoa, you've gotten like what? Like 25 Pokemon? Well, let me just, yeah. 35 is in our Pokedex. And we have 255 exactly in game hours. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Reaper's PC. And we are going to withdraw these Max Ethers, uh, the Full Restores. I didn't get any Max Potions. Uh, the elixirs, uh, the ethers, uh, and that's about it. And I got a whole bunch of TMs, most of which were pretty useless. So whatever, could sell them off for potential money, but whatever. And I'm just gonna heal, heal up just in case I fucked it up. So there you go. Anyway, before we buy all of our items, let's save the game just in case I mess things up. There you go. I'm beating the Elite Four, just letting you know. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna rearrange my items in this box. Uh, there you go. The full restores we're gonna put under the Hyper Potions. And then the Pokey Flute we can put the Absolute Bot. Well, no, not the Absolute Bottom. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, shuffle around these guys. All right, so we got the Ether, the Max Ether, and the Elixirs. We don't have any Max Elixirs. I don't know if there are any Max Elixirs in this game. But there you go. Alright. So, I believe they do sell Hyper Potions here. No, they only sell Max Potions. Damn. Alright. Well, that sucks. I don't know why you'd sell Ultra Balls and Great Balls here when you... Whatever. Alright, so we have two uh, full restores. Um, what I'm gonna do is... I'm pretty sure they still have full heals here, right? Yeah, okay, full heals. Uh, we have 29... So if I buy, no, that's full restores. Uh, if I buy 21, how much is that gonna take? Okay. I should now have 50 full he full heals, right? Okay, we have 50 full heals. Hyper potions, we should be good on hyper potions. Max potions, I'm gonna get uh, about, uh, I'm gonna get the same in hyper potions. So yeah, 16. Let's get, get 16 max potions, just in case we get hit hard, but not status. There you go, oh, that's a lot of money. There you go. So now we're just gonna do the slow ass climb to the top, to the top, top, top of the world. And there you go. There you go. And finally, we are going to drop the rest of our cash on full restores. So it will net us about 16 more full restores. So now we have 18 full restores. There you go. Leaving us now broke for the first time ever. But fortunately, we're only doing uh, five more battles. So whatever. Anyway, 255 in-game hours, eight badges, two deaths so far. This is our team. Hentai Man, Bukaki. That's not, that's not leave Barf John with, without his buddy, his battle buddy. Hentai Man, Barf John, Daryl, Strippo, Dogmeat, and Bukaki. This is the ultimate challenge. We will beat this game. And you know what? Let's start off this challenge with the boy we started with. There we go. 
Fukaki and Daryl may as well be mates at this point. Like, all these guys are just, like, teams. Anyway, let's do this. First challenge is Lorelei. Welcome to Pokemon League. I am Lorelei, the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha, are you ready? Fortunately, I know you're not going to have bullshit ice types. If you do, then that's sad for my muck, but whatever. Anyway, Jasmine sent out Kakuna! We're already good. We're already good. No! Okay. Missed. Thank you! Thank you, God! For sparing me! It's neutral. It's not going to Elko. Wow, it did. Okay, good job, Bukaki. I didn't want to use that solar beam, but whatever. A ghost rock type. Okay, well, now I know to send in Hentai Man because we can just surf it. Thing is, I don't want to blow my surfs. I don't want to blow all my surfs. That's the problem. I should have just stayed in. What am I doing? The thing is, though, uh, Bukaki is weak to uh, grass. Or, or rock. Rock, rather. So, there you go. This is much safer. Plus, I have ethers and whatnot. So, there you go. Mr. Mime. Fuck. This thing is poison type. Okay, you know, no, no, no. We have Barfajon. Barfajon is our answer. Whew. Just whack this thing with a bone and pray. Whack it with a bone and pray. Yes, it landed. All right, just kill. Fuck. Oh, no, it's doing it. Oh, no. If it doesn't crit, it's not going to kill. And a solar beam is super effective. Uh, shit. I'm in, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, screw it. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just go to a gosh dang hentai man. Because I know he resists it with fire. Okay. So there you go. He took it. And we'll hit him with a flamethrower. Arr! Fatality. There we go, Barfajon finally got the level up. There you go. I'm about to use Dragonite. Oh, I don't know what Dragonite's type is. I used Grass against Dragonair. I guess I don't know if that's just neutral or not. Screw it. <laughs> Okay. Waterfall. It might be water. These guys might be water type. I might have just pulled the greatest switch of all time. And it's the ace, I'm pretty sure, because it's level 56. Okay. What's withdrawn gonna do? <laughs> this thing is already conceding defeat. It's already conceding defeat. Okay, if we keep this high momentum going, this should be no problem. There we go. 2616. Tauros? Oh, God! It's ice type. It's freaking ice type. I know it's ice type. So we're gonna go to Dog Meat. I know it's ice type. I know. Alright, so 56 is just like the general. Yes! Yes, die, please. Fuck. Oh, no. Okay, it's lower leveled. Oh no, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't full restore. Thank God. Or actually, I don't think the uh, elite four in this game actually do spam full restores. How dare you! You're better than I thought. Going ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Okay, well, Lorelai, you uh, barely damaged me. Only two people got hit, and they resisted it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. First challenge? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright. Can't wait to do this guy's voice acting. Alright, we have challenge number two. Bruno. I am Bruno of the Elite War! Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger! I've we trained with my Pokemon, Rapa. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! Alright, so Bukaki is leading the charge on this one again. Fortunately, though... If I'm afraid, I can just pop fly whenever I want. Electro. Now, I know you're not Electro-type. Which is the fortunate thing for me. Now, we're not going to misclick Solar Beam this time. Slam. <laughs> Slam always misses. Slam always freaking misses. It always does. Screech! Screech! 
Screech! Mega. This thing's normal type. Electrode is normal type. Okay. Alright. There you go. There you go. I have to use Clefairy. You're electric type. Clefairy's electric type. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. I'm learning. You know, we can't have a crystal where we're just on a high roll and then a fucking Lugia shows up. No, no, no. We're better than this. I swear, if they pop Mew halfway through this, I'll swear to God. Okay, so, uh, she's gonna sit there and piss me off. I'm gonna get the guaranteed hit with strength. So there you go. There you go, Barfa John. Grimer. I totally know what this type is. <laughs> I totally know what this thing's type is, because I have its evolution. So it's a flamethrower. Flamethrower! Hentai man, fire technique. It's super effective. There we go. Let's use Coving. Coving. I'm gonna mess around with OBS settings. Alright, so now my voice should sound better. Fuck. God damn it. Coving! Oh god, I don't remember this thing's type. I'm gonna use Strippo on this thing, because Strippo hasn't used PP yet. And plus that would make it... Okay, so then I would just need to use Daryl, and then everybody would have been used for the Elite Four. Oh god, right, it resists everything. x -Defend. Fuck it, I'm just gonna use another Thunderbolt then. <laughs> Dude, I'm beating this. Alakazam. No, I didn't mean to click. No, I meant to go to Daryl. Fuck it. Thunderbolt. Neutral. Fuck. Again? Really? Again? I should click Thunder. What am I doing? I should click Thunder. You know what? I'm gonna bank on the heel. Another X Defend. Doing? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Even if I would have used Daryl, it wouldn't have mattered. Why? How could I lose? My job is done. Go fix your next challenge. Oh, wow, that, that was a horrible. That was horrible. All right, well there we go. That's Bruno done and over with. Uh, all right, there we go. So anyway, should we use potions? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna blow through these next couple battles. But let's get Daryl in the front. Let's get Daryl. Uh, Cause he needs some screen time. Anyway, we have challenge number three, Agatha. I am Agatha. I'm the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong. Pokémon are for the fighting. Reaper, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. If you say so, lady. If you say so. Agatha. <laughs> if Daniel was to inhibit himself into any Pokemon character, I bet it would be Agatha. Alright, let's hit it with a body slam. See if we can para. Can we? No, we can't. Oh! I'm glad that missed. Let's go for the stomp. And there you go. Okay! Alright. Glad I didn't have Bugaki out there. Pidgeotto! Psychic poison, because if. Pidgey and Pidgeot are Psychic Poison. Why wouldn't this thing be Psychic Poison? So now we're going to hit it with the Stomp first. It got Fark! Okay. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of Poison damage. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to Barfajon. I know it's weak to rocks. Okay. Daryl didn't take any damage, so we can just clear that up right away. So don't use Daryl. Rock throw. Rock throw. And if at any point I need to hit the horn drill button, I'll hit the horn drill button. Just as long as it's not against Sheffrey, because then it won't work. Jinx! I still have no clue. Isn't Jinx like grass or something? Screw it. I may as well try it. Okay, so now that... Yeah, this battle's where Pokemon start hitting level 60s. So, I think as a... As of this battle, like, I'm officially underleveled. Oh, God, no! Stop! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus, no, stop! It's electric. 
Oh god, no. Why? What the fuck? I mean, if I have to potion stall, so be it. If that's the only way I'm gonna get damage on this fucking thing. Egg bomb? How did it land? Oh my god! Can you just go back to double edges, please? Thank you. Thank you. A crit double edge would actually not be that bad right now. Fuck you, you piece of shit lady. Fucking... I'm just gonna cut it. Please. Fuck! Thank you for missing Egg Bomb. Doesn't it have like 75 accuracy or something? Whatever. I'm about to use Voltorb. Okay, it's normal type, so we're gonna go to Dog Meat. Oh, okay. Level 60. Okay, so once we get to Lance, we'll be under leveled. Don't kick. Wow, a crit. <laughs> oh my god, Dog Meat is no jewels. There you go, beat Daniel. Oh ho! You're something special, child. You win. I see you at the old death season, you know. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Okay, uh, we're gonna grab ourselves a full heal. And we're gonna heal up Daryl. And, uh, let's just keep him in the front. Because we have ourselves Lance, the Dragon Trainer. That's challenge number four. See, I, I did it in reverse order. You thought I was gonna say it when I got to him, but no, I didn't. See, look, I averted your expectations. Okay, so yeah. Uh, anyway, who should I lead the charge with on this battle? Uh, probably not Daryl. I mean, Daryl only used, like, what, a couple attacks? Yeah, so whatever. Let's do half and half. I mean, they're the ones that started off, really. Ah, I heard about you, Reaper. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me that. So, Dragon Trainer. You know the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and reach, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your ch League Challenge ends with me, Reaper. And they give him the Gym Leader music. Now, you might think, oh, he's a fucking final boss. He's got the Gym Leader music. Nah, he ain't true at all. Fuck you. Well, I said I was going to fight Sheffrey earlier. I hate Victory Bell. What the fuck? Submission? Okay. Okay. Uh, we might need Bukaki for this. We might. Pretty sure it's weak to flying, actually. Ah! Fly. Okay, if this doesn't kill, then I'm fucked. I'm straight fucked. And Bukaki's gone. Bukaki's gone. We lost him. It's gone. It's over. Oh my god! Okay, go to dog meat. Go to dog meat. He's he's the safe option at this point. Oh god. Okay, yes. Okay. I have a cover because I resist flamethrower and I'm immune to submissions. This this uh hyper potion is not gonna fully heal. I don't care. Okay, please, yes, just keep trying to go for that. I'm gonna hit a wing attack. Mm, I hate Victory Bell. I no! Stop it! Now he's gonna heal. No, he's not. Why is Lance like? <laughs> Whatever. They play like the actual computers in the game. Like it's not fair. Like their AI is not tailored to try to beat you. Ekans. We're gonna stay in. It's just an Ekans. Ooh, super effective to ghost, so it must be psychic or ghost. Oh, wow. So that's what you save your hyper potion for. All right, there you go. So I'm going to get a bit of a head start. Psywave, random damage. Who gives a fuck? It's not going to kill. Psywave cannot kill you. All right, so now we're going to kill the Ekans because I prepped it with the jump kick. There you go. Psyduck, normal type. We'll just hit it with a jump kick. Uh, uh. Uh, I finally know what your type is. Get bodied. You have to use Star Meat. Weak to rock. <sighs> okay. After the chaos, that was that victory bell. I'm ready for anything. There you go. Barfa John user rock throw. I mean, coming from that 120 attack stat. Oh, I'm glad I'm not ground. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it missed 90 accuracy Blizzard. That's what you would see regular Blizzard do. 
God, he's Tangela. Oh, fuck. I have no clue what that is. You know what, Strippo? I think it might be your time to shine, because I have no clue what this thing is. If you end up getting earthquaked, then... I'm sorry, but it was just inevitable. Okay, it's not ground type. It's weak to electric! It's dead. There's no way. <laughs> Strippo came in handy! That thunder. I'm glad I taught it thunder now. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master! I still can't believe my dragons lost to your reap. You had no dragons. Fuck you. You are now the Pokemon League champion! Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Sheffrey. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. And with that, we are not going to be fighting Sheffrey, as that would be fucking suicide. Uh, I will be using my Hyper Potions on everybody, so that they are at full health. Um, his highest level is level 65, meaning, uh, no matter what, I'm going to be underleveled for this battle. Uh, this is going to be probably either the toughest or the easiest battle in the game, and I just jinxed it by saying it, so... Ugh. Anyway, deciding between Ethers and Elixirs. Um, there you go. Daryl, I think, is fine. Bukaki's fine. Conky should be fine. Dog meat. Because a lot of the moves I have have high PP naturally. I might want to ether up Arcanine's jump kick. It's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my ether on jump kick because realistically, what else am I going to heal on him? So, yeah, jump kick. Okay. Uh. There you go. I'm going to use my max ethers. Oh. I'm gonna use one of my elixirs on Hentai. Uh, I should use them on Barfajan and Hentai Man because I use them a lot. <laughs> yes, let's just push. Let's just. <laughs> what? Did I just push Lance? I just pushed him. <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the new meta. That's the new meta. 160 attacks, Dad. No wonder that Starmie fell over. Uh. Yeah, I'll use my elixir on him, and then Hentai Man. Although not very much. I mean, all of his attacks got used, yeah. So I'm gonna use my elixirs on Barfajan and Hentai Man. And then my Max Ethers. I'm gonna use one Max Ether on Bukaki's Fly. Because I know I used a bunch of those. Uh, Strippo, do I need to use one on your Thunderbolts, perchance? I should probably use it on Strippo's Thunderbolts and then Buka and then Daryl. Uh, I'll give Daryl some more body slams. All right, so Strippo, Thunderbolt, uh, Daryl, body slam. Okay. With that, we are ready. Uh, we're gonna go to Bukaki for the last battle because he's my starter. We're gonna put Barf John down here just because he's level 61. And uh, no matter what the Charizard is, uh, yeah, we're gonna bump into a Charizard level 65. Hentai Man will be scoring the final blow. So I'll not be fucking around. This will not be like the uh, 721 randomizer. I was like, <laughs> and we're gonna save the game because only you can prevent lost save data. Yeah, I think I capped out the time. I think I cap capped out the in game clock. That is insanity. Oh no, Lance just moves on his own accord. Okay. <sighs> the final challenge. Sheffrey, let's go. Me versus a zombie. Let's go. Lapras. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. What? I should have fought you in victory route. I'm, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. Barrier. All right, that's reading a defense. So I'm going to have to hit it with special moves. All right, neutral. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can put me to sleep. Neutral on ice, please. I'm going to have to keep hitting it with ice punches. That's what I'm gonna do. 
barrier. Okay, if you just keep doing that, I'll be perfectly fine with you. I'll hit Razor Leaf just for the stab boost. Yes! Okay, so that's the Lapras down. I'm about to use Ditto. Stay in, we're gonna use Fly. There we go. Twiddle! Oh boy. Pretty sure that would just be neutral. Yeah, whatever. Ditto's gone, it's quad weak. I'm about to use another Lapras. <laughs> Bukaki is gonna sweep the entire team. All right, let's go for Ice Punches again. I want the freeze, that's what I want. What? No! No! He's bulky though, he's really bulky. Magmar, I don't know your type. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's Ghost. Okay. No! No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't do this to me. You're not doing this to me. Dog meat, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go strip out now. We're going to go strip out. Holy shit. Teleport. Yes, keep doing that. Please keep doing that. We're gonna hit it with a Thunderbolt. It's Ghost Water. Okay, that's a weird combination. Oh, fuck. We have to use Poliwhirl. Oh, it's the other... It's the other starter? He stole it! He's silver now! He's already silver! We're not even playing that game. Strip you're gonna be the ultimate sacrifice. If you die, whatever. Alright, Thunder can hit. Please be weak. Please be weak to Thunder. Is it really? Oh my god, Strippo, you are god! There we go, the Charizard. For the grand finale, send in Hentai Man! And if he falls, his friend will be there for backup. Use a Surf Attack! Do it! Do it! Please be more than half. Please be more than half. Oh my god, did we do it? Did we win? If he heals like an asshole. We did it! Bukaki's sacrifice was not in vain! We did it! It's over! Sheffrey <laughs> is no more. He's gone. He's dead. There's nothing. He's actually dead. I killed him. He's fucking gone. Yeah, I don't have to read his dialogue anymore. <laughs> there we go. Reaper. So you won. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you're the first left with Mac. <laughs> he just died, you asshole. Reaper, you have come of age. Sheffrey. What happened to you? You're kind of dead looking. I, I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you died. Do you understand why you died? You let a crab hit you with a hard blast of water. Reaper, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Reaper, come with me. Hey, I'm glad I took Hentai Man all the way to the Elite Four. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, for someone who's quad weak to ice, like, for as many weaknesses he had, Bukaki was a really good mon. Like, it really did have to take a self-destruct or explosion to kill it. Erhem, <laughs> congratulations, Reaper. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Reaper, you have endeavored hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations, Reaper. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. We did it. No! God bless the Bukaki. The porn shall never die. Never. Daryl raging his way ever since the first episode. My god. Daryl. He beat the odds, man. Like, he also beat the odds.
Dog meat, I knew that I knew I would carry this thing to the end. Dog meat was just my loyal pal all the way to the end. Underdog right here, Strippo! I didn't think this thing would be able to live all the way to Elite Four, but it did. I just I get always gave it a chance. Always. And you know what? It came out. Hentai Man is now the hero we all need! You all the Hentai Man comic better be done. <laughs> it better be done. And back from the grave, Barfa John for a short time here. Him and Hentai Man are best friends once again. And I stand amongst them. We pray to Bukaki. We saw all 151 Pokemon. We saw every single Pokemon in the game. We saw all of them. Holy fuck. $30,000? Damn. Get an item finder from my aid. We're gonna take that item finder and we're gonna shove it up your ass! <laughs> we won! The first game back from the huge Pokemon hiatus. Uh, my, my son of yellow, that didn't happen. We won. I, I came back from this huge hiatus, and I beat the fucking odds, and I won. In an extreme randomizer. These things are hard as hell. Unless you prepare, and you play extremely conservatively. Like, that's, that's the only way you're going to be able to beat these, is if your luck is good, and... You play very conservatively. Like, what I should have done for that Lapras to save Bukaki was to go to Dogmeat. I should have done that, but I was just on a high that I was just beating everything with Bukaki. That, there you go. But yeah, but I think the real MVP, though, was Bob Marley. He was the good luck charm. He gave me the power to do it, because if not, I probably would have made more mistakes. I think he helped me clear my mind a little bit and just give me the mental power that I needed to push through whatever trickery this game wanted to throw at me. But, yeah, Pokemon Red is finished. I did it. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I don't want to do Pokemon on this channel anymore. And what I mean by this channel, I mean this channel. What I want to do is create a separate Poke Reaper account. So that way I can just do Pokemon content on there exclusively. So, there you go. So, there you go. Uh, there's my pitch. Uh, I don't know if the, the end is going to fade away or not, but, I mean, I could just pause the emulator. Actually, you know what? Beat a game button. There you go. You hit you hit F2 and you beat the game. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pause my emulator right there and just leave it on the end screen. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, Pokemon Red Randomizer... Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke is finished. You know, I mean, it's all about my roots, man. Like, going all the way back to my first Extreme Randomizer that I ever attempted on YouTube, which was Coliseum. Like, I was even surprised to win that. You know, that wasn't that wasn't a Nuzlocke, obviously. But, because I was kind of like, eh, I just want to play it. But, now that I'm here... Going back through Gen 1, this is a culmination of every Gen 1 playthrough I've ever done. Every single one. So, give me about, like, I'd say, like, three months. I will not play Gen 1 for, like, three months. You know? Maybe if you really want me to do, like, a ROM hack or something, maybe go back to Indigo one of these days and try to beat that, which is borderline impossible. Well, hey, I'll do it. I'll try it. But, you know, let me play the other gens, because I really need to do that. Uh, but anyway, uh, next up will be a Gen 2 Extreme Randomizer. However, I don't know if I want to make that just a solo project or not. So, here are my propositions. Do you want me to make a new Poke Reaper channel? And do you want the next series to be a solo or a co-op, or a, uh, not a co-op, a collaboration series with me and another YouTuber? Uh, I leave it all to you. Uh, you've soldiered through this hour of me going through the Victory Road, getting to Indigo Plateau, evolving our Growlithe, and making it into Bob Marley, and making him the good luck charm, and beating the Elite Four. And only three deaths. I think this was the least bloody Nuzlocke I've ever done in my life. You know, because even in, like, non-recorded stuff, I've had way more bloodshed. You know, so... I'm glad that 
I didn't horribly lose this series. I'm sorry that that, that you know the designs and everything. Uh, for for Gen two, I promise I'm gonna make things a whole lot better for Gen two. Uh, none of the you know extreme stupidity that we saw in the first in this series, because I had a lot of follies while editing the series. Um, you know, but hey, I started a new tradition. I started cold opens. I started. You know, putting badges on the layout. You know, uh, you know, I did away with putting the names on the screen because I said them all the time. But yeah, uh, just this is the moment of self-reflection where, because I've been watching the beginning of the series and just the level of anxiousness never left me. the The feeling of anxiousness never left. It it never subsided. But as I'm here at at the peak at the summit of this mountain that I've climbed through all of my hard work because you don't know how brutal grinding got. It got, it got boring. Grinding is the worst part about this, about these extreme randomizers. You have to grind. You have no choice. Because if you go into a battle under leveled, you, you risk, you, 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 play, you play that risk. And, I mean, probably even if I was on par with that Lapras, still would have killed me. It still would have killed Bukaki. I'm pretty sure. But then again, that was probably the one thing that was able to take him down. Probably, probably like, oh, like a 20 plus level super effective hit probably would have killed it. But, I mean, for taking out Pokemon all the way from Pallet Town to Indigo Plateau, mostly legit, takes a lot of commitment. And takes a lot of will to want to keep them alive so yeah uh it's sad that we didn't get through Vict the elite four uh unscathed well we got through the elite four unscathed it's just sheffrey being an asshole but yeah and sheffrey is no more i will never bring him back he he is canonically dead as of this point so if we have a story arc and you want to bring him alive again fuck you <laughs> fuck you i'm not dealing with sheffrey anymore uh, so I might have to change uh, Neville's nickname on Discord to be uh, Reaper's best friend or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Uh, I've got to plan out my next couple series because, you know, Killer Instinct Credit Quest, it's over. Melee, i got to get another character. And, uh, and, uh, Marathon of Misery about to come back and fighting game freakout is going to make a surprising reintroduction i'm i've been like it's been almost five months or not five months three months since the last one uh and fighting game freakout like you saw the other playlist it's called old fighting game freakouts now because i want to make fighting game freakout better and more difficult than ever before so that way i truly do feel con the conviction you know the the drive to want to do it because it's hard to motivate yourself to just get yourself to fight something stupid for an hour you know because you're looking at the same thing for an hour but i'll tell you more about it when you know i do it which you guys voted for the first video of that so it'll happen around this month i'll i'll, I'll try I've got a little bit of time to cram it in there. So, you know, I'll do that filming eventually. Um, so, yeah. And I think I've already said this before, but the next Credit Quest series will be Soul Blade for the PS1, which that should be a quick and easy series. I'm not going to do all the super secret unlockable characters. I'm just going to do the main characters and then Soul Edge because you unlock all the other characters for... You unlock Soul Edge for playing all the other characters. So, yeah, I'll do Soul Edge. But anyway... That is Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke done. It is over. And I personally just want to thank you for being there the entire ride. You know, even even if you came in late, you know, I mean, not even the entire ride. If you came in late, you know, episode two, three, maybe halfway through, you know, you, you came new to the channel and saw that it was like the first upload or something and you just clicked it because you were interested. It's okay. I believe you. 
I just, I want to thank each and every one of you personally for giving this series a chance. I know Pokemon is very overdone on my channel, which that's why I want to do the separate channel so that people who really do want to watch that content can go to that channel to watch it, but they don't have to, you know, miss out on other content that I do on this main channel, which can let me get more creative possibilities for the main, for this channel. And, you know, possibly I might want to split off other things to other channels, but, you know, I'll just leave it at that. So, anyway, that is it for the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, Bukaki, Kumar, Jodat, God rest your souls. I have been Reaper Vegas, and I will see you all next time.